today, Kev? About 14 miles. Okay, I'll show you where we are. Okay. Here's where we are now, and here's where Dad dropped us off. I guess we're in the wilds, and miles from civilization. Yeah, I'm sure. We're 14 miles from the nearest road. Okay, tomorrow we're gonna have to go right up the Cayuga River right here, and then portage past Bear Rapids. And then we'll have to make camp on Prospector's Island right there. Bear Rapids? Will we see any bears there? I don't think so. What's up, Amber? Maybe there's a bear out there. Well, something's bothering him. What is it, Amber? Stop flashing it on and off. I'm not. Here, give it to me. It's on a flashlight. Don't. Don't touch it. It's still flashing. sit here and stay quiet so that thing doesn't come back looking for us. Well, what do I do with Amber? I don't know. Yeah, sure, and have that thing come there looking for us? Are you crazy? Hey, boys! Over here! You're safe now! You can come out now, boys! You're safe! It's gone! Come on, boys! Over here, boys! It's a cop! Oh, I never thought I'd be so glad to see a cop. Hey, we're here. Over here. Come on. Hurry. That thing might be back. Come on, officer. Let's go. Get in the car. Let's get out of here. We were lucky he came by. Hey, wait a minute. That's the same cop that stopped Dad for speeding this morning. What's he doing way out here in the woods? I don't like it. Let's get out of here.
Kevin! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, what is it this time? Kevin, we're in our own bedroom. Oh, give me a break. But, Kevin... Alistair, where else would we be? But we were all camping in the woods. And then this thing, this UFO came and caught us. Hey, yeah, I, I had that dream too. Oh, I guess we must have just had the same dream. Now well, shut up, I want to get some sleep. Kevin! What? We didn't dream it. Oh, don't be stupid. Kevin, this isn't our bedroom. Can you shut up and get back to sleep? Well, I'm gonna go look out the window. Oh, fine, and if you see any little green men, say hi to them for me, will ya? Well? Well what? Well, did you see any bug-eyed monsters? No, just our backyard. So get back to bed and cut the garbage. But, Kevin... Alistair, you watch too much television and you give yourself nightmares. I don't watch as much as you do. Mom sends me to bed to her. Well, just shut up and get to sleep. Amber! That you have bolts to Amber! In a big ball thing. And then the cop car came and took us away. Well, I'm going downstairs to see if Amber's okay. Hang on, okay. It's stuck. It won't open. Mom and Dad wouldn't lock us in. I don't like this, Kevin. Hey, Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? The window! We can get out through the window like we did last Halloween. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck. It won't open. Don't! The glass breaks. You'll cut yourself. It won't break. Oh, wait, move. This will break it. Alistair, that's not glass. And this? It's in our bedroom. Kevin! Can't move! Can't move! Neither can I. Don't be afraid, Alistair. I'll be your friend. I'm Lalia. What are you? We're Lulis. We Lulis just want to be your friends. Hey, Alistair, I can move now. Put your arm around me. Let's be friends. That's good, Alistair. Now we are friends. How come I can hear you? And how come I can understand you? Because I talk directly to your mind. Well, why did it look like we were in our own bedroom? So you would feel safe. I'd feel a lot safer if you hadn't taken us away. We didn't take you. The Chandrilla took you. Like they took us. Why? Because they like you. Because they like us? What do you mean? Just as you like your dog. As pets. But we're not pets. Where's Amber? What have you done with Amber? Your dog is quite safe. He is with Claire. Hello. Amber! Amber, you're okay. Amber! Amber, you little rascal! <laughs> Didn't you know? Is it your spaceship? Of course not. It belongs to the Chandrillas. I think I'm dreaming this. Well, actually, in a way you are. Oh, not being on the spaceship, but the way it looks inside. This living space can look like whatever you want it to. Can it look like your bedroom again? Well, if you want to, sure. Go ahead. Imagine it. Imagine it? Just concentrate. Think of your own bedroom, and then it'll happen. You'll see. We're back home. No, it just looks like it. Hey, my bat. 
It used to be broken, and now it's in one piece. Well, the room is made just the way you think of it. I guess you thought of it with the bat in one piece again. I guess I did. We should be going now. The Chandrillas are anxious to meet you. And you'd better brace yourselves. The Chandrillas are kind of... Well, kind of... Ugh. Ugh? Yes, Ugg is a pretty good way to describe them. Well, we can't go see them dressed like this. <clears throat> All right, then. Think of yourself dressed in something else. What? Well, just think of whatever clothes you want to wear. Like this? How'd you do that? <laughs> magic. No, not magic. Just imagination. Come on, Alistair. How'd you do it? Simple. Just think of what you want to be wearing, and you'll be wearing it. And we're not imagining you, are we? No, I'm real enough. So are you, I guess. Well, where do you come from, and how long have you been here on this thing? A long time. You know, so long I can't remember. Hey, I can do it! Anybody can. Now, come on. We have to go meet the Chandrillas. The... Ugg Chandrillas? Come on. Imagination, Kevin. Think going through the door. Okay. I got a right to a lawyer. Sam, I've told you a dozen times, you're not in jail. She's crazy. You know that kid, she's crazy. She keeps telling me we're in a UFO. Well, listen, I've been in enough hooskows to know what one looks like, and this is a plain, ordinary jail. Doesn't he know he's on a UFO? <laughs> oh, funny, very funny. You lousy kids, you're all the same. See ya, Sam. Come on, you two. The Chandrillas are waiting. Hey, you tell your dads. Tell them I'll have their badges. Why is he locked up in a cell? Well, Sam's a crook, and so the cell is where he imagines himself to be. Why? He thinks he's been arrested for breaking into a house. And until we can convince him differently, he'll keep on imagining he's in that prison cell. The Chandrilla think it's funny. Yeah, I guess it is, in a way. So then, where are these chandrillas? Right here. Why'd you take us away? Because we want to keep you as pets. I don't want to be your pet. But you have a pet. That's different. Amber's just a dog. And I'm a person. Uh, is your dog unhappy? Of course he isn't. We hope you too will be happy with us. Are you 
throws me out. Is this stuff okay to eat? No. It's what the Chandrilla imagined. And it's gonna taste... Ugh.